Hi everyone, my name is Sophie. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video and spending your precious time with me. I hope you enjoy it. I have thoroughly enjoyed the last couple weeks. It's been full of lots of art making, some sketching, painting, um, crochet, and yeah, I've just been feeling very, very content. So I hope you enjoy the video. It's a very calm one, like I say, get a little hot tea, snuggle up on the sofa, or wherever you're watching it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hope you enjoy! honestly a bit absurd that I feel this nice and this cute and I've not even left the house so before I get changed into my comfies for the evening I'm showing you also check out my new hand warmers that I made they're super cute I mean come on come on I've never worn these boots out I literally I got them the other day and I love them but I've not worn them outside yet, so I've just been wearing them around the house because they're really warm, but also I just feel cute. Anyway. That's better. So it's Saturday and I made the skirt this morning and I've honestly, I've just kind of been relaxing and chilling since then because that took a couple hours from start to finish. I made a little TikTok about it and then, yeah, I've just been chilling. I think I'm gonna do some sketching this evening. I wanna, I've made the sketch that I did the other day. I feel like that's the first one that I've done in a while where I'm like, okay, this feels like a piece. This doesn't feel like a doodle, this feels like a piece. Um, and of course, of course, I didn't film that because the memory card for some reason um, wasn't registering in the camera and I think it was just, just, I don't know, but it's working fine now, touch wood. So I'm gonna, um, do a little bit of sketching, do a little bit of editing maybe, um, get on the front foot with this video, I don't know, I don't know, but I want to do something productive, so. So I just wanted to take a little moment to talk to you about some of the prints that are available on my shop at the moment and I'm doing a huge sale so all of these prints are now £5 and yeah I just wanted to show you what they are so the first two which were ever on my shop these are the first two digital drawings I ever ever did um, are these two and yeah I feel like these two really changed up how I approach my drawings and my illustrations I feel like before this I was very much trying to copy old masters or paint with oils a lot in a way that felt more realistic and 
I did not ha know how to do that when it came to doing digital drawings. These are available for five pounds. And then these two, which are my personal favorites, um, are these. So I created these, um, if you can't tell by the themes, back in autumn, so obviously Halloween and then autumn. And I don't know, I just, I really was exploring, and still am, honestly, um, the themes of like, making art for my inner child, things that bring me joy, things that feel whimsical and cute and mm, just full of imagination. I don't know, I was just really craving that imagery and I just wanted to explore it in my work. So these are what was created from that. I really love them. They still feel very special to me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just wanna kind of make them more affordable, help clear some space. So yeah, these are also five pounds up on my website at the moment. This is called The Cat and the Moon. This one is Mouse with Friends. literally I just everything I'm doing like wearing doing to my face just doesn't feel right so I just need to stop thinking about it and just get out of the house at this point I've changed about four times <laughs> I really woke up this morning and I just really wanted to go get out of the house for even just a couple hours just to go to like a coffee shop do some crochet there's an art supply shop that I want to go to that I've not been to before um, which I'm hoping is good because if it is then it's gonna be really nice to have that semi nearby because there's literally no art shops around here which really surprises me there's like a hobby craft and that's it I liked it, you know, I just thought it'd be a comfy top to like chill in at home. I just thought, yeah, nice, very nice. And now I've got it on, I feel a little bit like I should work in like a hotel or like a sports facility or something. And I don't know, like do I, like hair up? Do you know what I mean? I just feel like I should be working at like a spa or like a sports center. I'm gonna try not to look at myself because I'm having one of those weird days where I just everything I do I just don't feel like me so you're gonna probably see me change about 10 million more times today. I got um, a couple of things from the art shop which I will show you when I'm upstairs in the studio but I wanted to show you some of the other things that I got. So I got some incense, this is like my favourite incense ever, it's my favourite one, favourite brand, favourite scent. I got some essential oils which is just like a chamomile essential oil. And then I got, I'm going to set this up and show you because I think it's so cute. So I've seen these before but not in like a shop as such. But it's so cute. It's like a little candle tea light holder. And then as the candle burns it spins this and there's these little cherubs. 
So I just wanted to take you through some of the things that I got from the art shop. The first ones are these brushes. These are the Pro Art um, synthetic brushes, which are for watercolours, but honestly I've used them for gouache and oils and they've worked fine. I've used these and they are my tried and tested favourites that I've had so far. I've used brushes from Rosemary & Co and I really liked them, especially with gouache, like I felt like they really, really carried a lot of paint um, and it was really satisfying to use them, but the bristles fell out quite a lot. And I don't know if that's just because I use kind of like their more entry level set. Um, but in comparison to this Pro Art set, which I've used the same set for over a year consistently, like kind of brutally, um, not necessarily taking much care with them. Um, and they're fine and they've stayed fine. They've kept their point. Bristles haven't really fallen out at all. They've been really, really good. The only reason I even got these is because I messed up and didn't clean my brushes in time when I painted with oils and loads of oil paint dried inside all the bristles. So I am replacing them. Um, the second thing I got, which isn't that exciting, is a putty rubber. I've lost mine. I've no idea where it is, um, but I needed one. So the more exciting purchase that I got is in here. So I have used oil pastels on and off again. I showed in a few videos ago that I got the, what are they called, Sennelia, Sennelia uh, brush, uh, oil pastels. And they're great, but I just find that in the way that I like to work, they're too, I feel like you have to do a certain style with them and it forces me to maybe use them in a way that I don't feel like I would naturally just want to use them. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's only so much that you can do with them. Yeah, I don't know, I'm still gonna have to practice with them, but these ones are soft pastels. And I got three. Um, I just got these colors and they're beautiful. The colors are stunning. I really love this like soft pastel candy kind of tones really really nice and these are hand milled as well so they're handmade in England and I tested them out in the art shop um, and they're really really nice and I really love how like chalky they are. The only thing though if any of you watching my videos now have used oil pastels be it the soft ones or the not or the normal oil pastels what do you use to fix it because that's the only thing that puts me off is that you kind of can't do anything with that piece. It's like gotta go up on a wall straight away because there's no like guarantee that like if I shipped it to someone, for example, if someone bought an original, I would not trust that by the time it got there that it hadn't been smudged or, you know, messed up in some way. Like how do, how do you fix oil pastels? Can you? I don't know. My camera needs charging and I really wanna film me practicing with the soft pastels. So what I think I might do is just do some sketching in my journal while my camera charges, because I only have one battery. And then after I've done some sketches, we can try out the new pastels together. Hello, it's voiceover me again. I just thought I'd talk you through this painting that I'm doing. I always find that whenever I'm using either new mediums or materials or just experimenting with a new color palette, I find it really helpful to have a reference photo to kind of lean back on so I'm not necessarily just having to create a whole piece. Um, and so for this photo I used a reference photo that I found on Pinterest and I couldn't find the artist but I'm going to try and find it and put it in the description. Um, but I just really wanted this to be kind of soft, not realistic at all, I wanted it to kind of look quite, not clumsy but like a little bit illustrative. Um, and just more focused on a mood or the colours in all honesty rather than the form itself um, and just yeah I don't know I think the most effort I put in was for this lemon and everything else was just blocks of colour that I wanted to experiment with the oil pastels honestly. I was a little bit inspired by an artist called Flora Timnoosh, I think I'm saying that right. Um, I'm probably butchering it, but I would encourage you to look for her work on Instagram. She creates these really beautiful still lifes um, that have the most 
stunning color palette honestly i was swooning over it for ages the other day when i came across her work um and it kind of inspired the overall feeling for this um still life honestly because i don't normally i haven't done a still life in a really long time and it has inspired me to kind of create my own um still life references because I don't know, it's nice to kind of make them a little bit more modern than just your traditional like vase of flowers and some fruit or something that you see in like old masters work, but I liked how it came together, I think I overworked it a little bit in all honesty, I think what you're seeing me do here is when it started to go downhill, so I haven't shown the whole process, um, but here is the final thing. I like the oil pastels and that's all I really cared about. <laughs> Thank you.